Well, this is a really special holiday vlog. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about my son, Johnny, that is finally home for the holidays. When did you got into LA when? I uh, got in at about 7 p.m. on Saturday night. Yeah, and then he flew from L.A., got rid of some jet lag. He spent the night there, and then he came to Oklahoma City yesterday. So if he looks a little sleepy, he's probably jet lagging. But what is one of my Christmas presents you're giving me? <laughs> I forgot. What am I getting? Oh, the video. That I would do a video with her. <laughs> because he is like Stuart, my husband, my other son. They don't particularly like to be on camera. No. But I wanted to show him off. And because I also told him if he would be on camera with me, we would make our very favorite chicken chili rice soup. So. It's a good deal. It is, yeah, it's a pretty good trade-off. So how many years have we been making this? Uh, since as long as I can remember. Yes. I mean, for a very long time, and it was funny, when my other son FaceTimed us last night, what was he doing? He was making the exact same thing <laughs> in Colorado. Same, yeah, in Colorado. So anyhow, this is basically a little bit of its history, and this is what all goes into it. And Johnny was my sous chef yesterday, and he actually did some pre-prep. You chop some onions. What else did you do? Mm, mm -hmm. Debone the chicken. Debone the chicken. Anyhow, he did some uh, mise en place kind of prep for me. So here is the recipe. And this is a real meaningful recipe to me. It came from my friend Patty Mullins years and years and years ago. We've made it a hundred times since. It's, it's one of my men's family favorites. It was one of my mother-in-law's favorite things. And the nice thing about it is it's so forgiving. You can do so many different things to personalize it. So we're going to make this. Historically, we have made it like for Halloween, maybe Christmas Eve. As soon as fall starts and it gets cold, we start making the yeah, yeah. chili rice soup. Yeah. And this was what? The first thing you requested when I asked you what kind of food you wanted to have on your yeah, It's very nice comfort food. Yeah. It's great comfort food, especially if you, if when you're coming from Singapore where it's not even cold. So he is happy to have the cold temperatures and warm food cooking on the stove. So Stuart, if you would type this out so people kind of know what is in this recipe. So like I say, we started this yesterday. So let me kind of go through step by step. It could not be easier. It's great to make for a crowd. It's great to make and just have on the stove. And then something we Vodders really like are, are like all of the added stuff, let's say. You can melt a lot of cheese on top of it. <laughs> a lot of cheese. And what else? Anything. What else? Anything that has cream in it, lots of cheese, lots of chilies, and lots of spice is good for us. Is, is I think, probably part of our, our Vodder household tradition for the holidays. So yeah, we're, we're not experienced with working in the kitchen, are we? Like, like I say, it's a pretend, pretend cooking show. So, okay, yesterday, now in the recipe, it says to, that you want a cup of chopped chicken. So here's kind of how I do it. Like I say, be really, really arbitrary with the amounts of your ingredients and how you do it. You could obviously, for step one, you could cook just some chicken breasts. How do you, how do you and Delphia make it at home when you make it? Do you just do chicken breasts or chicken thighs or? Uh, whatever we feel when we go to the grocery store. Yeah, so because it's, like I say, you don't have to be too, careful or too exacting about what you use but here's typically how i do it so because we eat a lot of it and one big pot doesn't last very long i typically get for step one i just get a whole organic chicken and so step one would be get a whole organic chicken just put it on the stove with lots of salted water and here is my secret ingredient johnny this is new this year i don't think you know about this. Typically when we put green chilies in it, it's never quite hot enough. And so we always add jalapeno peppers and you usually add even more peppers at the end, don't you? To make I like it. it spicy. Yeah, I like it spicy. So, so what I did this year, and this is how it's garden related. Now this looks kind of, kind of disgusting, you guys, but this year at the end of the season, and since it was a really long growing season, in fact, 
the day you arrived was the first freeze we've had this year. So I roasted lots of the jalapeno peppers and poblano peppers and whatever came from my garden. I roasted some cherry tomatoes and things that came from the garden. And then I pulverized them with um, just my Cuisinart. Then I made, and you can't tell anymore, but these were, I scooped them out with a, an ice cream scoop. And then I froze the individual scoops on a cooking sheet in the freezer. And then I took the individual frozen balls and I put them into the freezer in little baggies. That way, Stuart, was it you, Stuart, that called them a flavor bomb? A flavor bomb. And you can just take one of those garden fresh or garden frozen flavor bombs and you can toss them into whatever you want to toss them into. So yesterday when I cooked the whole chicken, I dumped one of these flavor bombs in there. Then I, after the chicken was cooked, this would be step two, I screened out any fat and skin and that kind of stuff, Johnny. I screened that off and then I poured it and I reduced it. I cooked it on high for a while and I reduced it down so it was really flavorful. Put it in the refrigerator and then you can see more of the fat collected at the top and the sediment collects at the bottom. And then I will just scrape off both of, you, of, the, both of those things and use this as some of the chicken stock that it calls for because it's really flavored with all of that garden stuff. Johnny, did tell the truth now. Did you help me very much in the garden when you were growing up? Uh, I made her who she is today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about that, but they, uh, they were very indulgent and very patient with me being out in the garden as much as I was inside mothering you. I carried a lot of manure. <laughs> yes, he did. That was before I got into gravel, and he would have carried lots of bags of gravel. But you may be doing some of that this weekend. So that may be another Christmas gift. Okay, so that would be then, was I on step two, Stuart? Step two. step two was then you just collect your stock. And then I cooled the chicken, and then I did a handoff to Johnny. And Johnny, who is very meticulous about things, he got all of the bones out, he took all of the skin off any of any of that kind of stuff so that I have just I, I really have two or three cups here of really good soft full flavor chicken because my guys always like more chicken in it than just what the recipe calls for and you can always double up the batch because it tastes just as good the second day doesn't it many a time Johnny will tell you that I'll make something for dinner and then you'll do what We'll also have it for breakfast. <laughs> for breakfast the next morning. So I always make a lot of this. So then for step three, once this is cooked and cooled, and, you, and what I love about this recipe is you can just do it all the day before, keep it in the refrigerator, and then we can assemble it later. So, Johnny, we're going to do two tablespoons of butter. Now, if you don't want to use butter, you guys, and always use a really large pot. If you don't want to use butter, Johnny, I'm going to let you, do we have a scoop here? I love these scoops that you can get from, I got this at Target or someplace like that, but they work kind of like a, also a, a pastry scraper. So Johnny, if you will put the onions in here, we'll melt some butter. Now I'm going to have to light my fire. Okay, I do have a gas stove, you guys. So we're gonna melt this. And then Johnny, I'll just go ahead and put the onions in. Now, if you wanna use more onions, you can. Um, if you want to, I think the recipe calls for garlic and quite frankly, sometimes I'll put garlic in it. Sometimes I don't because for me, that's not as important as the other ingredients that make it more like Southwest um, and really, uh, really more Mexican flavored, um, I think. And sometimes I cheat and I will put in, whoo, boy, that is flavorful. Okay, so we 
got the garlic in there. And then from this point, you guys, it's just so easy. And FYI, I guess, here's my question of the day. Are you guys neat cooks or are you messy cooks? And I am kind of a messy, I'm a messy cook, I admit it. And I kind of have gotten out of practice because my boys aren't home anymore. So I am going to take the fat off of my homemade stock. Another kind of yucky looking thing. I don't know, Stuart, you think it looks pretty good, huh? I know what it's going to be. Okay, you, yeah, have you, Stuart, have you had this before? Well, I, I know. Yeah. I, I, I think we made it at Halloween once and you were here. And, and Johnny doesn't get too jealous because he knows that Stuart, I cook for Stuart. Pretty I much may, in your absence. I maybe get a little bit jealous. <laughs> you maybe get a little bit jealous? Well, okay. You can't say I didn't do it for you when you were at home. So Johnny just got married. Um, Johnny, tell people, just put up with your mother, tell people why you're in Singapore, because a lot of people ask. Uh, well, I'm in Singapore mostly because of my wife. She's Singaporean and works there. Um, and now I also work in Singapore. So his wife... Uh, went to Harvard and Harvard Law and works. She, she's said, a civil servant. Civil servant for the Ministry of Singapore. And Johnny works for? A South Asian Institute. And what exactly is your capacity there? Uh, well, I write different papers on politics and international relations and I uh, am on the publication team so I edit a lot of other people's work. And Johnny has always been interested in international affairs and he speaks Remember when you were trying to decide between Hindi and Russian when you were in college to, yeah. to study Hindi or Russian? I was always interested in other parts of the world and foreign languages, so I chose Hindi over Russian just because I thought Russia would be a bit too cold to go and visit. <laughs> and then he, you lived for on and off how many years in India? Uh, probably spent about maybe three, three and a half years in total oh. um, in India at different por uh, parts of my life. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so right now, you guys, I am just adding stock. Now, the recipe only calls for two cups, and you can see I'm being a lot more liberal because I make a huge batch of this. So I added my own homemade stock, and now I am adding some organic chicken stock. And like I say, I'm not being very exacting at all. I'm just adding pretty much as much as I want. Oh, your brother is calling in right now. I can tell on my phone. But he's trying to FaceTime us. Um, okay, so for this step then, I've added the stock and now I'm adding the chopped chicken. Now the recipe, you guys, calls for milk. It calls for a cup of milk. I practically never add milk because milk we drink almond milk around here, or as my boys used to call it growing up, mom and her goat milk. Um, I don't have dairy milk in my refrigerator typically, so I just add more stock. So again, you can just be really, really just arbitrary about whatever you want to put in. So I'm going to put that in. And then you add the rice. Now the rice is one of those things that I think is is... I don't know, you can add more or less depending on what your predilection is. If you really, if you want to make it lower carb, then don't add as much rice or any rice. If you want it to be thicker and heartier, add more rice. So what's your preference, Johnny? Or do you really care? Uh, if you add more rice, it's a bit more filling. So yeah. I go for more rice. I go for more rice. Okay, so we're going to add, that is that. It calls for half a cup of rice, I think, Johnny. Half a cup of raw rice, and it is raw rice, you guys, but I'm going to put almost a cup in here. Now, that is going to cook uh, for approximately 20 minutes, and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Now, I, I had already sauteed the onions and everything. That takes about 10 minutes, and then this will take about 20 minutes. So we'll just stir this. Johnny, would you get the lid out of the drawer over there that goes with this pot. And I'm going to monitor this, you guys, and I'll bring it to a boil, and then I'll turn it down to simmer. Now, you may notice that at this point, I really haven't added any flavorings or any spices or anything 
other than the natural flavoring that came from some of my flavor bombs. Now what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to add a little bit more of this because, Johnny, I want all of this jalapeno flavor and everything to really infuse itself into the chicken. So I'm adding a little bit more of that. Johnny, you're impressed, aren't you? You're thinking, man, mom's <laughs> gone real highbrow adding these flavor bombs. You've, you've learned some new tricks since I've been away, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that is that step, and we're just going to let this come to a boil. And I will stir this periodically just to make sure that the rice is cooking and doesn't stick and to monitor if I need to add a little bit more chicken stock. And a lot of times, depending on how many I'm feeding or how hungry uh, my boys are or if Johnny and his friend Nikki is here. Is Nikki coming tonight? Uh, yeah, he should be in town tonight. So Nikki is one of Johnny's best high school friends, but he is a pilot for, is he with Southwest or United now? I think Southwest. Southwest. And he is in Santa Barbara right now, but he'll be flying in tonight. So he comes over. We, and sometimes, in fact, I've set the table for four tonight, Johnny, in case he comes. So if, since little Jamie won't be here, Nikki can fill in the gap. Okay, so I'm going to just bring this to a boil, and then we'll come back, and we'll add the rest of the ingredients. So this has been cooking on a slow simmer for about 20 minutes. Johnny, are we prepared with the rest of the ingredients to put in? We're all set. Do you okay. want me to put in the cream? Well, let me see here first. Let's, one of the things about this, so it's got um, salt, cayenne, and cumin to taste. And a lot of this, I'll put in a little bit, and then you guys typically, they will add more cayenne or whatever when they flavor their bowls because everybody likes it a little bit different. It's also really good with Tabasco sauce. <laughs> yes. My boys say I never have enough Tabasco sauce here. So I'm going to put in, I like a little bit more cumin, but this says, how much does that say cumin? It just says to taste. So I put in about that much. Like I say, I'm not very exacting. And then I like to add a little bit of coriander too. Johnny, did we remember to get some fresh cilantro uh, at the grocery store? Because yeah. I like, coriander is dried cilantro, and I like to put fresh cilantro on top. Now, you know what, Johnny, let's add a little bit more. I think there's some, some more chicken stock over there. See how this is pretty thick, you guys? And I'm just going to add a little bit more. Johnny, let's add. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so I've added the spices, and so this is... Where the magic happens. Yeah, this is the magic happens, and Johnny, we t typically, we Vodders, like I say, we really like it spicy. This is chopped green chili, and this comes in cans. Now, if I had remembered to thaw them, and I didn't, Johnny, but over here... I've got some roasted frozen hatch chilies that we got. There was a, Johnny, last time we were at the powerhouse, there was somebody there selling roasted chilies. Oh, uh, so you picked some up. So we picked some up and brought them back and put them in the freezer and then I forgot. Okay, so one can, what do you think? Should we put in? Another can. Another can? I think we should. Should we go for it? Okay, and when I put this in, I typically don't drain it. I put the whole thing in. Now for some of you, this might be too, too much chili, though actually the green chilies are kind of mild. It's the jalapenos and things that are a little bit hotter. So this is kind of know, know thy family. As far as we're concerned, Johnny, there's typically, you cannot have too many green chilies. Okay, let's see. Is that let's let's add the cheese now. Now, you know, I think that yeah. So depending on what you like, sometimes I'll do a Mexican blend. Sometimes we'll do Colby Jack. It's kind of whatever we we have on hand, and you can add more or less to this. And sometimes I will add less, and then my boys will add more at the end. 
go. Let's go ahead and dump that in here, Johnny. I love having a sous chef. So, so just a minute ago, they were both laughing at me because I was, who was I trying to talk to? Stuart, were I trying to talk to you or was I trying to talk to Johnny? Uh, me. I was trying to Called was, me all three names. In the yeah, I called Stuart, Johnny, Jamie, uh, Stuart, whatever your name is. So when I was growing up, there were ten of us, and my parents would go through practically all. You've heard you heard Grandpa and Momo do that probably when you were little. Go through all of our all of the kids' names before he would get to the right one. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny just said that you should call out what. <laughs> what did you say? You don't remember what he said? He said, why don't you just call out like number five or number, or number six out of however many there were because there was a long roster to go through. And I bet let, let you, you guys let me know in the comments if you ever do that at your house. Okay, so Johnny. So in me fact, to pour that I, in? Yeah, you pour that in while I stir. Okay, pour this in kind of slowly. Now I did heat this up in the microwave a little bit because if you add cold cream to it, it will separate a little bit. And so we're adding it slowly. Sometimes, if we're trying to be healthier, I will not add quite so much cream. But we're not trying to be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> it is the holidays after all, isn't it, Johnny? Okay. So, mom is usually the one that airs on the side of healthy, and my boys and hubs typically are airing on the side of... Tastes good. Tastes good and decadence. Would you look and see if someplace in there I've got some red cayenne pepper, I think. And this is another one of those things that you can add um, to your heart's content. Do I have any in here, Johnny? Uh, I don't you think can, you have any. Okay. You, oh, cayenne right here. You can tell we didn't really pre prepare very well. That's why this is a vlog and not a highly, a highly produced video. Okay. How many times has somebody tried to call in... <laughs> His brother has tried to call in. Nikki's tried to call in. Your dad's tried to call in. I'm just impressed you have a call watch. I know. I do have a call. This was a Christmas gift. So this point, that was dad. That was dad trying to call in. He, we sent him to the grocery store. Okay, I'm going to heat this up a little bit more. Okay, Johnny, let's add. A flavor bomb? A, no, no. <laughs> you just like saying flavor bomb. Is it time to add the flavor bomb? No, we've already added the flavor bomb. Okay, let's add the cheese, though. And then this will just slowly heat up. Let's do that. Let's say about half a bag, Johnny. Or more. <laughs> okay, let's do this. You, can, you guys can see why this is just so... It's, there's no way it's bad. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, there's no way it tastes bad. Yeah, yeah. Now, it, it might... Your arteries may not thank you. Your arteries may not thank you. This okay. makes strong bones. There's a lot of <laughs> calcium in this. <laughs> Johnny... Okay, and Johnny, there's no goat milk in this. This is all. This is all real dairy. Okay, would you like to do a taste test? Let's let the cheese melt for a bit. Okay. Okay. He knows. Johnny, <laughs> mom, standard, standard. As I, you can see, nobody does what I tell them to. Stuart doesn't. Hubs doesn't. Johnny doesn't. I am surrounded by men who do not do as they're told. Now, when I, say, when, I, when I say it's time to eat, all of a sudden, I, everybody pays attention to me. Okay. 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 You want to taste it to see what needs to be added? Probably the flavor bomb. The, probably the flavor bomb. Even another flavor bomb? Okay. Oh, see, that's, the, that's when you know it's good, when you get those little driblets of... Jeez, yeah. What do you think? Seriously, does it need more of that flavor bomb? Can I just like put the spoon but, into the flavor? Well, let's let, no, let's not use it. This is the this is the season of COVID, so let's do this here. Put as much in you as you think. Johnny critiques everything. He critiques my cooking. He critiques. Uh, my grammar, he is so well versed in geopolitical goings on that if I ever say anything incorrectly about what is happening in the world, he will correct me. And um, I, I have, I, I, is, isn't that right, Stuart? You've been here? You, you, so I'm, 
<laughs> what can I say? Everybody's always making fun of me and correcting me. Now, Johnny, you and I both get to brag a little bit here. I have a book coming out this year, and so does Johnny. So we both, mother and son team, one of these days, it was, it, when I used to fantasize, oh, yeah, when I used to fantasize about stuff, it would be about Johnny and I would be writing a book together in Colorado. And we never did that, but we did both write a book independently. I wrote a book on gardening. Johnny wrote a book on? Singapore. On Singapore. So it will come out, it'll, will it come out this year? Probably this year. Probably this year. So I'll let you guys know about that too. So that's kind of exciting. And, um, and on a serious note, Johnny would edit a lot of my work for me. He would read over it and let me know if it made any sense. And conversely, I would do that for you too, would I not? Back in high school and college. Uh, college applications, probably. Co college, now, I, I, you would also ask for my opinion on some of the other stuff that you wrote. His is a little bit more highbrow, um, but seriously, we, we have helped each other. Okay, so there you go. Now, once it's done, you want to turn down the heat because you really don't want it to scorch, and you do have to kind of keep an eye on it. And then when we serve it, we like to serve it with all sorts of, of um, oh, all sorts of sides, like chopped cilantro, additional cheese. Sometimes I even like to have jalapeno juice to dri dribble and drizzle that in there because it kind of brightens it up a little bit. Sometimes if we didn't have so many flavor bombs in it, we would have, <laughs> we would have some chopped jalapenos like these. I would get some of these and people could add that or as Johnny said Tabasco though I don't really like to add Tabasco to it but my boys typically overrule me on that and they will add Tabasco to just about everything and then I'll serve it with some tortilla chips of any kind um, sometimes I'll just have soft tortillas that they can dip into it what else do we sometimes serve with it um, oh sliced avocado and that's what, that's what you had in it, that was sliced avocado. But it also looks kind of pretty and it makes a beautiful table setting then when you put this in a really gorgeous terrine and you've got all of those, those pretty little uh, side dressings that you can put on the top. So I am going to plate up a little bit of this. Isn't that what they say in the cooking shows? Let me plate up or bowl up a little bit of this because Stuart's gonna take off momentarily and he wants some of this before he leaves. So we will definitely make sure that he gets taken care of. What do you think, Johnny? Did we do good? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty I'm good, pretty hungry. decadent. I, you guys, like I say, you can't mess this up. How do you mess up just chicken and then adding cream and cheese and chilies? I, I just don't know how you can go wrong. So there you go. This is from my family to yours, our green chili and rice soup. We call it chicken rice chili. And did you just go like this? Yeah, it's a thumbs up. It's a thumbs up from our family to yours. So if you want something to make for Christmas Eve, and if you want to spend time with your family members making fun of you, then I highly recommend that you make chicken chili rice soup with a loved one in your household. Well, if you are interested, here's my in the kitchen cooking with Johnny outfit for the day. My top is one I got online, I don't know how many years ago. You guys have seen it before. I love this color of red. My britches came from Amazon. They're my new favorite jeans. If you are interested in the link, just let me know. Uh, just put something in the comment section below and I will send you the link. And my favorite thing to cook in when I'm in the kitchen are just really thick socks. And these came from Old Navy.
and I think they're particularly festive. One thing for you guys to look out for, I wanted to point this out to you. The tea towels at Trader Joe's are really great. I use them for a lot of different things. And this year I'm actually using them to gift my candy. I'm gonna wrap up my, my candy bundles in these Trader Joe towels. And my earrings are just some big hoops that I've had forever. So there you go, there's my outfit of the day.